Good morning. Thanks for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Molly Hendrickson. And I'm Brian Sanders. Let's get right to our top stories. Another COVID-19 vaccine trial is showing promising results. Overnight, AstraZeneca announced late stage trials show the vaccine to be 70% effective in preventing the virus. Two other drug makers, Pfizer and Moderna, say their vaccines are about 95% effective and could get emergency FDA approval by next month. Rising coronavirus cases in Colorado are forcing two more Front Range school districts back to 100% remote learning. The Pooter and Big Thompson school districts will move to an at-home learning model today until next semester. Pooter schools say depleted staffing has led to the tough decision to return to remote learning. The Big Thompson district cites concerns for the health and safety of its students and staff. Some county offices are closing because of the pandemic. Denver County will close its motor vehicle offices today for in-person services. They are still available online or over the phone. Adams County closed its motor vehicle offices last week. If you can't find assistance online, Adams County has a letter you can show an officer explaining the situation. Now here's Katie LaSalle with your Denver 7 forecast. Hey Colorado, happy Monday to you. We're waking up to temperatures in the upper 20s to low 30s across the metro area. Mostly clear skies will stay dry and mostly sunny for the first half of the day, but we are bracing for our next system. Hi. It'll bring uh, widespread snow do, to the uh, high country, a winter weather advisory in place TM. for some of our central mountains down through Telluride, a winter storm warning in effect through early Tuesday. That includes portions of the San Juan Mountains. It's mainly going to be south of the metro area. We'll see more accumulating snow evergreen down through Castle Rock and Kiowa could pick up around three to six inches early Tuesday morning here for the metro area. It's mostly going to be 50s and cloudy dry for the day, increasing snow into the high country and then widespread rain shifts to snow early Tuesday, one to two inches possible. It's not a huge event for us, but definitely could put an impact on our early morning Tuesday drive. Skies will clear out through the middle of the afternoon and then we're back to sunshine in 40s. 50s on Wednesday. Your Thanksgiving forecast looks like we have a small storm rolling through, but definitely be prepared for a little bit of wet weather late tonight and early tomorrow.